I'm a multi-gladiator, four times rank one AWC professional WoW player with years of experience to my name. With a passion for sharing my knowledge and skill sets, I'm here to help you level up your game and achieve the same success. Here are my tips and tricks to gaining rating and achieving new heights without spending any money. Yo, YouTube, what's good? It's Aegis. Uh, in this video, I just wanted to give a quick little update as to what we're doing right now as fire mages. Um, so I got the build put up here. Not much has really changed since the last guide I made. Um, uh, some of the changes I guess I'll uh, I will note is that I'm playing 2 in Flame Accelerant now. I think the build I had before I was playing uh, 2 in Wildfire, which would increase the ignite damage, but the fasted fireball, or, sorry, the faster cast fireball is going to prove to be a little bit more value because fireball is really how you're landing kills. Um, so that's the only change in the build. Um, however, I just wanted to talk about kind of like your priority and how you should kill some stuff. So. The reason why, like I said, I made this change is fireball is the big way you're landing kills. So just to get into uh, combat here, I'm not going to attack this dummy because I want it to crit. I'll do it on this guy. You can see here that the fireballs are doing the most amount of damage out of any spell that you can land in the game. So you want to be getting these tinder fireballs off every single time. I have a tinder uh, proc right here. It used to be called tinder is why I call it tinder. It's called flame accelerator right now, but I'm going to continue to call it the tinder proc because that's what it was in Shadowlands. Um, basically how I track this, just so you guys can get it for yourself, is I have a weak aura here, the tinder weak aura. So I'm going to have this in the description for you guys so you can get it yourself. What if it's, what it's basically going to do, it's going to tell you when it's available. And then whenever you use it, it'll tell you how long you have until your next proc. And I'll tell you why this is important real quick. So let's say you use your tinder here. Big crit. One trick that you can actually do here is you can start to cast the fireball before it's actually up. Like let's say right now. And then it's going to get the bonus damage. So the reason why this is important is because uh let's say like so the cast will be a little bit slower right you can see it doesn't get the added uh cast time here the reduced cast time from the flame accelerant but it is a nice trick to min max uh the timing a little bit better especially so you can fit two flame accelerants on your combust so now this leads me into the best part or i guess the you know the part of the video you guys all clicked on for so the damage rotation uh the burst damage rotation uh, you're gonna want to be fitting two fireballs on your combust okay so this is going to be the biggest and most important part of your damage rotation so you, you'll see in a second i'm about to start my damage rotation i'm gonna use a tinder fireball and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use combustion halfway through the cast uh, i'm gonna press two fire blasts and then i'm going to spam my pyro keybind two times and it will generate two procs uh and then from there you will try to weave uh, the rest of your fire boss charges into pyro or the rest of your phoenix flames charges into pyro so um basically to explain this a little bit further uh, now that you kind of know the rotation i'm going to go over a little bit about the abilities and why you're using them in, the, in that order so fireball is just a normal cat it's like frostbolt for for fire except um you don't want to just sit here and really spam it you only want to use it when you have your flame accelerant proc and it's going to do big damage uh, the way you do damage on a fire mage is you're going to chain critical strikes so as fire when you combust you get a 100 percent crit uh, if you get a half a crit, so let's say you use Fire Boss, which is a guaranteed critical strike, that's going to give you Hot Streak. Um, and then you, if you do a second crit in a row, as you can see here, um, a second spell critical strike in a row will make your next Pyro, or your next Pyro Boss instant. So you're going to want to do a Fireball, like I said, you're going to Combust, and then you're going to use two Fire Blast charges, that's going to give you a Pyro. And then, like I said, you're going to mash your Pyroblast Keybond. It's going to send in the Pyro. Your Fireball will be in the air at the same time. And they'll both land for a huge burst. And then that will give you your second Pyro and you'll send that in. And then, like I said, you'll weave the Phoenixes or the Fireblasts. And then keep chaining your Pyroblasts, such as this. So, like I said, um, Fireball, Bust, Double Fireblast, Pyro, Pyro. Fireblast, Pyro. Phoenix Flame, Pyro. And then you'll have your other fire boss charge come up here. And then this is when you want to start that second fireball. So you get those two tinder fireballs on your combust go. So that's going to be the most important thing is to fit two fireballs during your combust. If you're missing out on that second fireball, you're missing out on a lot of damage. So definitely try to do that when you can. Now, just to talk a little bit about like consistent damage. Let's say you're outside of your combustion window, right? Um, what you're going to be doing is 
for one, you want to keep slows up on the on as many targets as you can, so that you can keep your flame cannon distance. Flame cannon is going to say that as long as you're um, 15 yards away from people, you're going to be doing 15% more damage. And fire mage, since you have the glass cannon talent, um, you're going to have 100% less HP. Or sorry. <laughs> 20% less HP, but you're going to be doing way more damage. So you want to make sure you keep that distance from people. And you want to be, once you get that distance, uh, you're going to just be doing your damage rotation like normal. Uh, you know, try to fireball, double fire blast, pyro pyro. If it doesn't crit, then you just go into your normal rotation uh, with just weaving phoenixes and fire blasts to chain pyros. Now that this is off cooldown, you can send that in. Keep a slow up on the target. Send in a phoenix flames. Fire Blast into Pyro Blast, you'll get something here called a Hyperthermia proc, um, and this is going to just allow you to chain Pyro Blast like that. Uh, you can literally just keep sending them. I got another one, look, I'm just going to keep sending Pyro Blasts. Um, and then you see you'll get something else here called a Combustion proc. This is from Time Anomaly Talent here on the left side, um, which is going to just give you random combustions. So you can see in your downtime, uh, you're really just trying to weave all of your instant cast damage waiting for those procs to pop up and then that's when you're going to get that nice burst kind of keep that distance ring of fire and if you are getting trained what you need to be doing let's say you're just getting absolutely trained by targets all over the place and you can't keep that distance what you need to be doing is just using all your instant casts so like i said let's say this guy's training me he's on me and i can't really get away you know i'm, I'm I'm snared, I, I can't really move. Like I said, you're just gonna be trying to get these casts, or you're just gonna be spending all of your instants. You can alter, and then like, before you're about to die, you can alter back, and then blink away. This is when you wanna use your mobility. And like I said, uh, you wanna be counter pressuring during this moment, okay? Like, counter pressure is the biggest thing that's gonna keep melee DPS off you. Uh, keep in mind, you also, when you're on top of them like this, in order to do more damage, you want to start to cast other schools um you want to make sure you're looking at your omni bar so like i said if you're taking damage uh, and you can't get that tinder fireball off because keep in mind that's how you're killing people on a fire mage then you want to maybe cast a ring of frost or maybe you want to cast uh, a polymorph or something just to get the interrupt on a different school and then you can hard cast that fireball in their face um and then Obviously, I wasn't using any mobility there, but you want to be chaining your Dragon's Breath, your Roots, your Ice Nobles, your um, your Blast Wave, your Shimmer Charges, your Alter Time, your Greater Invisibility. Um, and your Greater Invisibility is going to act like a damage reduction. So you'll see here how much damage this guy's going to do to me in one hit. You'll see here. Big damn. Big damn. But if I wall, I'm going to... I'm, I'm about to die, but... Uh, if I wall, I'm actually taking 60% less damage. So you want to use this on high burst moments. And then obviously you do have your Ice Block um for emergency situations one thing i kind of want to reiterate with a uh, cauterize is that typically you want to use these in different or you don't want to use these in the same go so let's say uh you know you're getting bursted down and you're caught prox if your healer is in cc then you're gonna have to block but it could be said that you should have probably blocked before you're cauterized procced um, ideally you want to use these as two different defensive cooldowns, albeit that's not going to be the case every single time, uh, but it is best if you don't have to combine these two. Because keep in mind, when you get cauterized, you get a lot of movement speed, and you can barrier- a lot of, I think a lot of people overreact from the cauterized dot that gets put on you. You can definitely live through it if you have a barrier and your healer is out of CC. It kind of just depends on how much damage you're taking and what cooldowns are popped from the enemy. Like if it's a Doom Winds from a Enhancement Shaman and a Wings from the Rep Paladin and you have no mobility and your healer is in CC, then you're going to want to just send the Ice Block, um, even if your Cauterize is proc. So that's going to be like a scenario where you would have to just use it. But anyways, that's all I really have. Um, one ability I did actually forget to mention here is Shifting Power. So I'm just going to do another quick Combust Rotation like I said in that previous uh, little bit that I did. I'm just going to keep weaving all my instant casts. Boom. Like I said, I want to get that second Tinder Fireball in as soon as it comes off cooldown. And then here would be a really good time to Ring of Fire and then just get your shifting on cooldown. One thing is you want to try to get as much stuff as you can on cooldown. So you saw me Barrier too. Um, you could even, you know, use some other spells. And then this is when you want to get that shifting power. And what that's going to do is it's going to reduce the cooldown on all your mage abilities. So you see I almost have another Ring of Fire. I took time off my Combust. And 
it reset my fire boss charges so i can go right back into another burst rotation anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know if you want me to do this for the other specs that's all i really have for you peace out